Now, before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so that you can stay up to date with all of the cool stuff that we have on our YouTube channel and all the cool stuff that we will be posting to our YouTube channel. The modulation section of the Cerberus offers uh, chorus, three different types of chorus, and three different modulation effects. And it's accessed by simply turning on the modulation section. And now we have a nice dreamy sound. Listen to that. Isn't that nice? Okay, what we're going to do before we get started here is we're going to turn the rate and the depth down for the modulation section. And I'll tell you why. Uh, we want to just look at just the chorus first. So with the chorus, we have a level. This is a master level for the section. We can turn that up or down just to increase the sound. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to keep that right there. So what we've got is we've got rate and depth. I, like to keep, I normally like to keep my rates on a slow side with a nice wide depth. Otherwise, what ends up happening is I get that drunk sound. When all in all is not really, all in all is not that bad. As long as you're playing the right riff to complement that. We have three different types of choruses here. We have the vintage chorus, which is what we're on currently right now. This was modeled after a chorus pedal that came out in 1976, which was apparently the first one. So it's a nice organic sound. Then we have an analog chorus, which is a, uh, it's an 80s type of uh, chorus. Okay, or you can do single notes. And then you have the modern chorus, and this is a an analog chorus that's the the five knob the five knob type of analog chorus. Really nice sounds. Really, really, really nice sounds. Okay. We're gonna turn those down so that we can talk about the other ones here, the modulation effects that are over here to the right. Now the modulation effects, we have three different to choose from here. We have tremolo, and we have a phaser, and we have a univibe. So what we'll do is turn up the rate, turn that depth up. We're on tremolo mode right now. Now we can turn that rate up. Now, in this case, it sounds very mechanical because the depth's so far up. So if we turn that depth, we roll that back a little bit. It's just a beautiful sound. We can then move down to the phaser. This is really great if you're into the if you're into the Pink Floyd sounds. Turn on the overdrive a little bit. Right? And then we have the Univibe, and this is a this is an effect that's a mix of chorus, tremolo, rotary, and phaser. So it's the uh, hodgepodge. Again, you can do the, the dreamy, floaty sounds if you want. Also sounds really good without the overdrive. Isn't that great? So we'll turn that rate, we'll turn the depth up. 
And so now we have the chorus and the modulation. To really hear the separation, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna go back to tremolo mode on the modulation effects. Now there's another thing you can do with that control button that we keep talking about over here on the right that pertains to the modulation section itself. If I use the control button here and go to the modulation section, you can see that it's turned on right now. But if I want, I can turn that off. So here it is with just the chorus. And now I'm gonna enter in, I'm gonna turn it back on and get the tremolo going again. That's it for this part of the tutorial. Be sure to go to the next video in this playlist to learn more about the Cerberus.